Okay, here's what I have so far for Sprint 6. Um, I don't know if the sounds are playing for you or not, but they are for me. Uh, so the, um, the spiders are running on alarms that get triggered uh, uh, when there isn't a spider. Um, Centipede, I still need to get it running on a speed variable so it goes a little faster. Um, I got the, the wave system working. As you can see, the player death going on. Um, I'm not sure why my centipedes break apart when um, a new wave is starting, but uh, that'll be something I figure out later. But uh, for now, the, the death sequence for the blaster... Um, it's sort of a placeholder for uh, actually getting it to animate dying. For now, it's just a, an explosion object that I create. It's a separate object that makes the explosion on the, the player's death, and then I just turn the blaster sprite the same color as the background. Um, I also turn off its ability to, to shoot, so you can't move around and shoot just invisibly. Um, it, which the death also notifies the player manager that uh, the blaster has died, which notifies the wave manager that uh, it needs to reset the wave, clear out a bunch of different things, mostly um, whatever enemies are still on screen, and then just reset, uh, just start the wave over. Um, I have the reading the wave file from or reading the wave data from a text file done um, which it reads into uh, a, a, an array of an object I call wave data which um, it just contains all of the the variables that we need for it um, there's also tags listed here uh, as being read in and that was just so um, uh, I could label them in the, the actual text file and not have them uh, be mistaken for that the data that I actually want. Let me find it first uh, right here. So as you can see, they're all it's it's very user friendly. It tells them exactly what each variable is for, uh, which is what all those tags are. It's just those strings. So um, there's no mix-ups. Uh, the sound manager just plays sounds for now and mutes them as needed. Uh, I still need to figure out um, how to set it up so that when in a separate mode it, it doesn't play sounds. Uh, I still need the centipede dropping when it hits poison mushrooms. I need to know, figure out why my chain breaks apart when I go on to other waves, um, and I think that's it.